Hey y'all, welcome to this first ever flow state yoga break. Very excited to do this. It's very simple. It's just eight sun salutations. Uh, and I'll walk you through what those are, but it's just the same movement repeated. I do this once a day to really set my body up for my best creative work. When I don't do this, I've got aches in my body, in my neck, in my back, in my hips, and those things really hold me back from doing my creative work. I won't be surprised if your body just starts to feel incredible, even after a week of doing this once a day. I'm very excited to see how impactful that is to your work. And so I'll be including this at the end of every session going forward. So at any moment, if you're feeling like you're tired, you need a break, pop into this flow state yoga break and break up your sitting with some movement. Let's jump into it. So we're gonna do eight sun salutations. If you're strapped for time, just do four. It's better to do something than nothing. The sun salutation starts with a child pose. Whatever child pose you're most comfortable with. And then we move into a cat cow Breathing in as we extend the back and neck. Breathing out as we contract the abs and bend the neck forward. Next, move into a down dog, stretching those calves, the shoulders, the hips. And then walk your feet forward into a forward fold, a dead hang here, and then slowly raise your body, unfold, straightening the spine with your neck last and then raise your arms above your head finally swinging your arms down back into a forward fold before you get into a single push-up and then a upward dog from here we're going back to child pose that was one sun salutation with all these movements remember you can modify according to your needs. As we go into our second sun salutation, we're doing two cat-cow poses for our second set. And then we move into down dog. The stretch should feel even better now. Walking into a forward fold dead hang, stretching those shoulders. You can put your hands under your feet if you'd like. And then begin to straighten your spine, one vertebrae at a time, neck last, and then raising your arms above your head. Swinging them back down into a forward fold and right into two push-ups, as this is our second sun salutation, into a upward dog back into a child pose now as we prepare for our third sun salutation here we do three cat cow poses and so you notice the cat cows and the push-ups reflect the set we're on so three cat cows for our third set and we'll end with three push-ups now into our downward dog and step up to a forward fold feel that stretch wiggle around if you'd like before we straighten our spine neck last standing up straight and arms above the head as we swing back down into a forward fold and then into three push-ups. Followed by a upward dog. Going back into a child's pose for our fourth sun salutation. Enjoy the breath, the stretch. As we come into our fourth sun salutation, starting with four cat cows. The idea here is with time, you'll have memorized the movements and you're just using this video as a way of 
accountability, pushing you to do it. Now jumping into our downward dog. Wiggle those hips, those shoulders before we step up into a forward fold. Dead hang, stretch that spine. Before we straighten up, raising the arms above the head, take a nice breath out as we swing the arms back down into a forward fold and into four push-ups followed by a upward dog you can rotate the neck here and then back into a child's pose before we get into our fifth set at this point, if you'd like, you can stop this video. Maybe you're strapped for time. When I don't have time, even doing just four sun salutations makes a huge difference in my day. And at the very least, you're doing something, which is better than nothing. And now we're in our fifth set, so five cat-cow poses. Focus on the breath before you jump into a down dog. The stretches should start to feel better now as you walk up into a forward fold, putting the hands below the feet if you'd like to increase the stretch before you straighten the spine, raise up, neck last, and arms above the head. Finally exhaling back into a forward fold, straight into five push-ups, followed by a upward dog. Back into a child's pose before we get into our sixth set starting with six cat cows making sure to breathe in as you extend the neck up and breathe out as you bend the neck forward and contract your abdomen this is really great to break up the stagnant sitting we often spend most of our day in. Now into downward dog. Enjoy that stretch before you walk into a forward fold. Finally, unfolding the spine vertebrae by vertebrae slowly standing up unfolding the neck last and then raising the arms above the head breathe before you fold back down straight into six push-ups and then into a upward dog Shake those hips. That low back should feel really good before you come back into a child's pose. And now for our second last set, come into a cat cow and we're gonna do seven of these. Paying attention to the breath and noticing how in just a few minutes we're moving all that stagnant energy from the sitting we've done. 
Imagine doing this every day. Getting into our down dog, shaking it out before we step forward into a forward fold. And then slowly straightening the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, as we stand up and unfold the neck last and raise our arms above the head, taking a nice breath, feeling those shoulders stretch above before we come back down into a forward fold and straight into seven push-ups. Followed by a upward dog, shifting those shoulders and moving the neck before we come back into a child's pose. This is our last set, our eighth sun salutation, starting off with eight cat cows. Really paying attention to the breath and feeling your presence with your body. Coming up into our last down dog of the session. Really stretch those calves, those shoulders, before you step into a forward fold, hanging, releasing, unfolding vertebrae by vertebrae into standing position and raising the arms over the head. Feel free to twist and move the body in a way that feels good for you before you come back down, forward fold into eight push-ups. Of course, you can modify these push-ups to your liking. And then finally into our last upward dog. Soak it in. You can rotate that neck before you come back into our last child's pose. In this last child's pose, I like to stay in there a bit longer and really relax and even start to set my intention towards what I'm going to do next. And there it is, eight sun salutations. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this little short break allowed you to bring some movement into your possibly stagnant body and frees you up to focus on your work, your creativity, and not on the pain in your body. What would you like to do next? Now that we've moved our body, would you like to jump back into another 30 or 60 minute flow session? Pick the video that best suits your mood right now.